Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though this body be destroyed, yet shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself and mine eyes shall behold. And not as a stranger, for none of us lives to himself and no man dies to himself. For if we live, we live unto the Lord and if we die we die unto the Lord so whether we live therefore or die we are the Lord so blessed are the dead who die in the Lord even so says the spirit for they rest from their labors and their works do follow them hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. You may be seated. Brother, let me hear some of that. that um, let me. Yes. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Amen and praise God. Praise God. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We're here not because somebody died, but because somebody lived. And that man, that man made a huge impact in not only the life immediately lives around him, but on people, some you'll never know. Isn't that right? He had an impact on your life. Thanks be to God for giving us the gift of George Clint Gresham. Gresham. Sharing in the service now, leading us in prayer, Matthew's gonna come and lead us in prayer and after Matthew, has prayed, 
Lauren is going to come and read our Old Testament lesson from Psalm 121 and the New Testament, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Let's hear the prayer. Let's pray together with Matthew as he comes and then hear God's word. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, for bringing family here at this service. Today, we are here to honor my grandfather, life and legacy and respect and his wishes. I pray, Lord, to help anyone that is grieving at this time, that you will strengthen them and care for them. In Jesus' name, we all said, amen. Okay, Psalm 121. I lift my eyes up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going from both now and forevermore. Philippians 4.13, I can do all this through him who gives yes, me strength. Yes. Master, the tempest is raging. Yes, yes, yes. All oh, the billows are tossing high. The sky. Is overshadowed with blackness. Oh, no shelter. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hope. Yes. Is nigh. Carest thou not. That we perish. Oh, how can thou lie asleep? It seems like each moment so madly is threatening. The angry deep. Get up, Jesus, because the winds and the waves shall obey thy will. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. Oh, 
the storm to see Oh, demons, oh, men, oh, whatever, ever it be I want you to know that no water, no water can swallow Swallow the ship where lies the master of ocean and earth and sky. They all shall sweetly, sweetly obey, obey thy will. When you're burdened, it'll be peace. When you're lonely, you'll send peace. In the morning, it's peace. Oh, peace be still. There's a peace that only God gives. My God, my God, my God. Brother, that was all right. Lord, have mercy. That was all right. Thanks be to God. That song was all right, and Brother Clint was better than all right. He was good news. Amen. He was good news. Family uh, remarks will be shared by Tricia Culpepper. You coming? Tracy is going to come. You can come right here. And after she has shared her remarks, we will read silently the reflections that are inside and then sing our hymn, Hold to God's Unchanging Hand. Welcome, family and friends. Thank you all for coming together to honor George, better known as Clint Gresham. Yes. On the day of my mom, Glenda, and Clint's first date, I was quite nervous and apprehensive. So I peeked out the window to get a good look at him and to take a picture of his license plate for good measure. There you go. Later on, I found out that Clint laughed and commented and commended me on being so protective for my mom. From there, our relationship blossomed. He taught me valuable skills, life lessons, like how to pick out tires for my car. He was always ready to hand out advice even when I didn't want it. Our love for desserts was always a favorite. Mm. I could count on him to ask for the dessert menu at our frequent favorite restaurant, Outback Statehouse. The thunder from down under, truly his favorite. Thank you, Clint, for always ending the day on a sweet note, guiding us through our lives. You will be missed, but never forgotten.
filled with swift transition. None on earth unmoved can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Church, you better hold to his hand. Yes, yes. To God's unchanging hand. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. You better build your own. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Well, you better trust in him who will not leave you. Whatsoever years may bring, oh my God, my God, my God. if by earthly friends forsaken, still more closely to him cling. Oh, you better hold to his hand, yes. to God's unchanging hand. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand, you better build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Oh, you better covet not this world's vain riches. That so rapidly decay. Seek to gain the heavenly treasures. They will never pass away. The last verse says this. When your journey is completed. If to God you have been true. Oh, fair and bright the home. Come on, put your hands together and sing it. Oh, hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand. Hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand. You better build your hopes on things eternal. God's unchanging hand, you better build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, to God's unchanging hand, one more time, come on, sing it. Oh, to his hand, God's unchanging hand. Oh, to his hand, God's unchanging hand, you better build.
Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. I want you to share these few words with your neighbor. Just tell your neighbor, look in to the hills. Yeah, look in. Looking to the hills. On Tuesday, it was a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday in 1938, first day of November, when George Clint Gresham was born. It was a Tuesday, November the 1st, 19. 38, so what? It's, it's just a Tuesday. Tuesday the 1st, 1938, a very, very different day. Not just because Clint was born and that would have been enough. But something else happened on November the 1st, 1938, that went down in history. So much so that there's a movie made up there. There's a Hollywood movie that's about November the 1st, 1938. It was the year, it was the moment when history was made in a particular sport. And ever since that moment, no one will ever forget. In fact, that was the day when the match, oh my God, the match of the cinch, oh my God, the, the, it, was, it, 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 was, it was the match of all time that occurred mm -hmm, on that day. What happened? It was the day that the horse Seabiscuit defeated War Admiral. It was called the match of the century in the horse racing world. You say, well, so what? Seabiscuit upset, overturned. All odds. Nobody thought that horse would make it. Let me suggest to you that in 1938, on November 1st, there were a lot of people who would never have guessed that a baby boy named George, Lord have mercy, a baby boy named George, George from Henry County, Virginia. No, no, who would have imagined that, that that baby born on that day would have made the kind of strides that he made in this world? Who would have ever guessed? 
that he would have turned the heads that he turned, that he would have influenced the people that he has influenced in this world. Nobody, because why? We were still written off and are still, oh, I can't get any help up in here, but that's all right. Let me suggest to you that this brother had experienced, Brother Clint had experiences where he turned heads and upset everybody else's expectations. I am so glad that God uses people who others don't imagine. We look at people and underestimate the potential, but let me suggest to you that God God has something of God's own self in every one of us that is just waiting for a moment to come on out and bless beyond our own door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brother Clint, he likes sports. And a sportsman was he. Range of sports, played a range of sports. You know, most people aren't just good at everything. You know, many of us just have one game. Not him. No, 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 no. No, football, basketball, baseball. And with those sports, of course, they are team sports. And when you play on a team, that means you're not only interested in your own A game finding expression. It means when you're on a team that you're pulling not only for yourself, but you got to pull and be interested in whether other folks are on their game. And if they're not on their game, then you want to draw the best game out of them. You want to pull an A game out of a B player when you're on the same team. Let me suggest to you that Brother Clint had the ability to pull an A game out of a B player. And you know, when you play on a team and the whole team wins, especially if you're on a championship team, if you're on a championship team, and your team wins, you could have sat on the bench more time than you were actually on the court, but everybody has a win. Oh my God, the victory is shared. Let me suggest to you that it means something when we learn, when we play team sports, it makes a difference in our lives. It's not only about my personal discipline that's needed to pull my game off, but it's also about knowing how to cheer for somebody else. And oh my God, did he know how to cheer for somebody else. Oh my God, he had the ability to look at somebody else's game and see where they could get better. Oh my God, and had the ability to, 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 to express that in a way that could be heard. Uh, what, am I, what do I mean? What do I mean? Uh, I think he had the ability with his playing golf, and of course that, that was the sweet spot, the golf, that was a sweet spot. He had the ability to look at the swing. He wanted to, he studied the swing of his grandson. Oh, you, you understand. He wasn't there, but just, 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 send me the, just send me the video. Let me see my grandson swing. I don't have to be there in person to see the swing. If you just show me something, I'll study it and I can find out how to strengthen his swing. That's what we call investing in another generation. That's what we called being able to notice something minute. He had an eye for detail and could say what was needed in a way that it could be heard. You know, many of us are champions, but we don't know how to coach somebody else. I can't get no help up in here, but that's all right. Many of us are excellent at what we do, but, but we don't know how to bring somebody else. We don't have the eye for detail. Clint had the eye for detail, and because he had an eye, he could be a good neighbor to anybody. He 
He could, have, he could be a good neighbor to anybody. He had a positive outlook, positive outlook. And in fact, if you got it right, you get that swing right, he would clap his hand. That's it. That's it. That's what you want. You want to not only to teach the lesson, but you want to cheer and be an encourager. Frankly, we need more brothers to be encouragers. We need more brothers not just to show what you've done, but encourage somebody else and stick with the generation that, oh my God, not just the generation you're in, but Plan and invest yourself, brothers, in the generation that is behind you. Everybody needs shoulders to stand on. And George Clint Gresham, he was good shoulders. He was good shoulders to stand on. Of course, as I said, he liked to play golf. And uh, golf is a very different sport. He loved golf so much that every year came time to, for vacation, nobody had to wonder where they were going. They were going where the PGA, to, to the whole family. Isn't that right? The whole family was going wherever the golf tournament was. But his favorite course here in New Jersey was in West Orange, is in West Orange, Francis Byrne Golf Course. And you know the Francis Byrne Golf Course has been there since 1926. Been there since 1926, and when it was built, it was a private country club, not open to the general public. Mm -hmm. and, but this course, what makes it different from many other courses here in New Jersey is that this course was designed by a distinguished architect of golf courses. Mm -hmm. A distinguished architect, Charles Banks, was the, that, that was a good, good a pastor and a singer but it's a, in, in Newark years ago, but he wasn't the one that designed the golf course, but you know what I'm saying, it's it like that. But, but it, was golf, it was Charles Banks who designed this golf course. And this golf course, the 15th hole, was unusually challenging. So much so that a champion golfer indicated it was one of the most difficult in the entire country. That was his favorite course. Many of us like to be where we know we're going to master something. Oh, y'all don't hear me. This brother selected a course that was challenging to people who were, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. This brother was still wanting to lock in on a challenge. Who does that? who repeatedly wants to face a challenge over and over and over. He had a positive outlook on life. Why? Because he knew how to look unto the hills. Oh, my God. Yes, when they told me, when I was meeting with the family about that course, they told me about the hills. They told me how he loved to view this particular, oh, my God. Oh, there's something majestic. When you see the hills that God has made, when you lift your eyes unto the hills, from whence, from where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Isn't that right? Somebody said, yes. My help comes from the Lord. You know, you know, we relate to people, we relate to God differently. We have different, what we call primary languages. And there's, there's a man who wrote a book called uh, Pathways to God. And in that book, the man argues, he, he, he pre presents that there are nine different pathways to God. Right. 
that, 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 and, and that they're nine pathways to God. And if we can align with whatever our primary pathway is, our experience of God will be much richer, much fuller. Guess what? One of those pathways is called the naturalist. The naturalist is the person, oh my God, who on Sunday mornings when we're here in the sanctuary, I see them sometimes, I see them looking out the window. You know why? Because when you look out the window, you can see some trees. Y'all don't hear me. You see, the naturalist sees a tree and something inside them begins to resonate. They look at a tree and see how strong the trunk is. They look at the tree and see how the branches are still there just majestically lifting up. They look at the tree and watch how the leaves change their color. And even when the leaves are gone, the tree maintains its dignity. They look at the tree and they see it. And by looking at the tree, they connect with God and know that whatever season I'm going through, God will always be there. Oh, when you get out and look up to the hills, when you look at the sky, you realize the world is bigger than the world you know. The world is bigger than politics. The world is bigger than our own clubs. The world is more vast than our own experience. Oh, this is a great big world. It is God's world. And that our God's got the whole world in his hands. Let me suggest to you every time Brother Clint got on that course, when he got to that place where he could see the hills all lined up, the hills began to talk to him. Oh, my God, and he got to answer in the hills. Oh, golf is a golf where you make all kinds of decisions. You got to size up this thing and see it from here, and you have to imagine where it's going to land and figure out how hard you're going to hit it and what speed you're going to do. You got all these millimeter, some micro adjustments that you have to make, but I'm telling you, no matter how many micro adjustments you have to make in your life, you can still make it. No matter how many small adjustments this brother had to make, in our society, he still made it. Now, now, he liked Tiger Woods. That was one of the golfers he liked. I think that's what y'all told me. Y'all told me Tiger Woods. Yeah, y'all told me Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods said this, we all make decisions. But in the end, our decisions make us. Oh, my God, yes. It matters what we decide. Some of us make the wrong decision. Make a swing, and our ball goes in the water. But others of us size something up because we're leaning on God, asking God to show us, asking God to lead us, and God enables us to hit something, and it lands just where it needs to be. The brother liked jazz. I said, who was his favorite? They told me Ella. Yeah, they told me Ella. Ella Fitzgerald. Nobody could scat like Ella. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Nobody could scat like Ella. And even when she became sick and she had, she, she, she had a great, uh, a horrible stint. She struggled with her diabetes, but she kept on singing. Y'all don't hear me. She stood up with all her men. Y'all don't hear me. She went on. She said, I know I'm not a gorgeous woman, but she still had a song. I don't care how or what people think of you. Sing your song. Ella said, Ella said, Ella said, Ella said, it isn't where you came from. It's where you're going that counts. Oh, it isn't 
where he came from in this world, but it's where he went the other day. Oh, my God. He has negotiated many courses, many struggles, and God used him as an example here and there. But thank God he made a decision. He made a decision to worship the God of the hills. He made a decision to worship and give his life to the God, to the Christ who died on a hill called Fr called Calvary. One Friday, Jesus died on a hill called Calvary. Shed his blood for everybody, past, present. He upset more than sea biscuit could ever. Y'all don't hear me. Jesus upset a world because he came in this world on a section eight. Y'all don't hear me. Section 8 parents. And had wisdom that blew the minds of philosophers. Jesus came in this world, and for him, everybody was on par. What decision have you made? What you going to do with the God of the hills who watched over Clint all his life? What you going to do with Jesus who loved you before you knew your name? What you going to do with the grace of God that has covered you when you didn't even realize you had a chance? What you going to do with the mercy of God? That is new every morning. Whatever you do, take a moment and consider Jesus. The best decision you'll ever make in this life is tied up who you gonna worship? I will lift up mine eyes onto the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. God, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for Clint. Brother Clint Gresham. Thank you for how you sustained him in the foundry when he came up here. God, you kept him in the midst of all that heat and soot and whatnot. You kept him. Thank you for the doors you opened for him. Thank you for how he was an, an example here and there. Thank you. Thank you for how positive he was. Thank you for what he invested in his family and others around him. I pray, God, that what he invested huh, will have a great return, even on this side of eternity. And if there's anyone here who doesn't know the God of the hills, I pray, God, that you would open their eyes and give them to know that you're real. Look on us now, even this choice family, in Jesus' name. Amen.
shall see his face when it's all over oh yes it is when it's all over I'm going to put on would you stand with me? Thank you. We stand in Montclair, New Jersey, but we join with people all over the world who know that nothing shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So when life as we know it comes to an end, even now, we can still make our song hallelujah, 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 giver of every good and perfect gift. The sovereign creator bids us to lead this life according to the pleasure of his goodwill. And so lifting our beloved brother Clint to the author and finisher of our faith, we commend his body to the elements of life. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection for those who believe. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. How long your night will be, I don't know, but I know the joy will come in the morning. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Blessed, helped, strengthened are those who believe. And now may the peace of God that passes all understanding Keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. We'd like to just say we thank you for entrusting Brother Clint to us. And in doing so, we'd like to give you this memorial token in love and memory. At this time, if we can have four gentlemen designated as pallbearers to just meet us in the vestibule of the church. Also, as we exit the church, there has been a repass um, meal prepared for everyone. So after which we go out, you go downstairs and um, fellowship with the family. Thank you. 